Hi everyone, so today we're going to go ahead and talk about factoring quadratic equations with the area model. The area model is also called the box method. So before we talk about factoring quadratics with the area model, we want to review how to actually use the area model to multiply binomials. Now, I want to multiply binomials. I can go ahead and put my two parentheses outside of my box, and I would go ahead and multiply my sides together. So I have x times x is 2x squared. I have x times negative 7 is a negative 7x. I have 5 and 2x, which is a 10x. And I have 5 and negative 7, which is negative 35. Now, everything inside my box will be my final answer. When I do write them side by side, I do notice that I can combine my like terms. And I get my final answer with that 2x squared plus 3x minus 35. Now, when you do factor, you have to know where everything goes. So when you're given an expression in standard form, your ax squared, whatever your lead coefficient, will be in the upper left box. Your middle term, or that b with the x, goes in the outside corner. And then your constant, or your c value, will go in the lower right box. Now, when you're factoring with the area model, your factors are found outside of your box. The inside of the box shows your expression that's written in standard form. And then also make sure to factor out any greatest common factors before setting out your box. It makes factoring a lot easier when your numbers are smaller. So let's take a look at some examples together. So here we have x squared plus 3x minus 18. So I can go ahead and set up my box, my x squared and my constant inside, and that middle term in the outside corner. Now I'm looking for what multiplies to get me x squared, and that's x times x. Then I look for two numbers that'll multiply to negative 18. That gives me negative 3 and 6. Now when I go ahead and finish multiplying inside my box, I want to make sure that those add together to get me my outside corner. So negative 3 plus 6, yes, that gets me 3x. So I know that my numbers are all working correctly. I could write my factors as x minus 3 and x plus 6. Now, here I have another example. However, I'm missing something. I'm missing a middle term. Well, if you don't see a number there, remember that it's just a zero. So in my corner, I'm just going to put a zero x. And I'm still going to be able to find the same thing. x times x gets me x squared. Now, two numbers that I'll multiply to negative 9. Well, I got 3 and negative 3. And do they actually get me that 0x? 3 minus 3 is that 0x, so that works. And now I can take my factors on the outside of my box and write them together. x plus 3 and x minus 3. When I look at this question, I see that I don't have an a value of 1, but I do have a GCF. That GCF is 2. So when I factor out that 2 from every single term, it's going to make my quadratic a little bit easier to factor. I then can put my x squared and my 3x and my negative 4 around my box. Again, figuring out what multiplies to x squared is getting me x and x. I got 4 and negative 1 that are going to multiply to that negative 4. But when I fill out my box, it does get me to that 3x in the corner. Now I can write my factors as x plus 4 and x minus 1. And don't forget that GCF of a 2. It is part of your final answer. So make sure you leave it out in the front. OK, again, here we have another question that doesn't have an A value of 1. However, I don't actually have a GCF. So what I'm going to have to do is use what's called a product sum diamond, which means I'm going to make a diamond and I want to find what numbers will multiply to A times C, or my A value and my C value from my standard form, and also add to B. So I have negative 40 and 3. And when I figure out what two numbers will multiply to A times C and add to B, I'm going to get 8 and negative 5. Those are the numbers that are going to go inside my box. Now I have the 8x and that 
negative 5x inside my box with my entire box filled out it's going to make the outside of my box a lot easier to figure out i get x and 2x and then 4 and 5 making sure that everything checks out you have your answers as 2x minus 5 and x plus 4. let's do another example together same thing you're going to notice that your a value is not 1 and no gcf so use that product sum diamond and let's figure out what numbers will multiply to a and c and add to b that's negative 6 and negative 1 so when i go ahead and look at my numbers i'm going to get negative 3 and 2. those two numbers are going to go inside my box allowing me to figure out what should go on the outsides of my box to complete my factors i have x minus 1 and 3x plus 2. Now a couple things to remember. Remember to factor on any GCFs before using your area model. It will make factoring a lot easier. And remember, factoring is just undoing the distributive property, so you're just working backwards. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for notifications on new videos. Thanks for watching.